Ah, I do so love perfect timing. No, 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 literally, why do you have to be like that? Look what? So is this a kidnapping sort of situation or her first Transformer experience? It's both, really. Well, well hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, nice to see y'all again. Yes. Uh, today, Grandma went to Transformers The Last Night, which, again, is the story of the giant transforming robots that change from giant robots to... Some sort of, well, automobiles, some of them transform into planes and motorcycles and basically some sort of transportation, I think. Uh, but you have the bad Decepticons versus the good Autobots and the bad Megatron versus the good uh, Optimus Prime, although in this film he sort of starts out not so good. But, um, but basically the... Um, uh, again, it's hard to explain, but the Decepticons are going to try and destroy the Earth in a way to save their own planet, it appears. I, I, that's it in a nutshell. Yes. Uh, and so there's lots of uh, destruction and robots and flying around and explosions and that sort of thing. What did you think of it, Grandma? I was fascinated. Fascinated. I was fascinated really? by all the different ways that they could <laughs> that they could have explosions and and collisions and things. I found a lot of them. And things flying through the air. <laughs> uh, I'll have to admit that I haven't seen so many really fancy uh, cars, those sports cars that some of them could transform down into. They you made know, the cars look good. Oh, the cars! The cars that they were uh, in their car life. <laughs> the Transformers weren't always big, uh, human-shaped, you know, monster-looking uh, good guys or bad guys. You know, they looked monstery. Um, they, some of them had a personality that they shared with us. You know, this Transformer is a good guy, and, or not. And they had a particular uh, personality that a human could connect with. Uh, our human stars did a good job. Mark uh, Wahlberg was good. My, yes. I wondered uh, halfway through the film how much the human body can withstand because they were always yeah. being knocked over or or dragged somewhere or blown somewhere and they always landed without having a broken arm or you know sprained ankle or anything uh, because that would have been a problem you know they had to keep going to, to uh, reach the magic that started this whole thing what was it 1600 years ago it was a interesting complicated story um, it was a little over long, I thought. We, I think we could have come to the same conclusion um, without quite so much explosion. So, I, what did you think of it, sort of overall? Then uh, I thought it was did very. Did you like well, it? I, I did. Uh huh. It was very well done, as far as the uh, uh, all the special effects and. Our actors, our human actors, held their own among all of the some of the little the little transformers were cute, you know, and lovable because they were supposed to be cute and lovable. You know, that was their role. Uh, I don't know if I would give it no. I know for sure. I mean, it's not a two thumbs. <laughs> it's not a two thumb or not. Not a two thumb movie. But it's a one thumb movie. Be prepared for a long haul. This is a story that takes a while to tell. And uh, so settle in with your popcorn and your drink and, and uh, 
watch our heroes and our good Transformers save the world once again. Because that's what they did. They so did. what did you think? Well, I tell ya. Um, the, the last half hour of this film is about as good as you're, you get in these sort of action films. Uh, again, it shows what uh, the skill that Michael Bay, the director, has when he's really at the top of his game. It was really thrilling, really well done. Unfortunately, you had to wait through two hours about, about, about two hours of the most jumbled up, yeah. confusing mess of a plot that you are about to come up against. Uh, and again, it was how in the world, I was thinking to myself, did they ever think that uh, this was gonna make sense to people? That people were gonna understand what was going on? Uh, because again, yeah, it, they, they, they had- That could've been clearer. Again, they had too many things going on. I mean, it, it's almost like they had half a dozen different climaxes uh, mm -hmm. to half a dozen different stories. And they had all these different groups of people and uh, robots and stuff doing different things. And they were trying to bring it all together at the end, which they sort of did, but all of their stories all along the line, you sort of had a hard time figuring out, well, what does this have to do with everything else? Uh, how do they all relate? And he, even though they all sort of finished and it all came together at the end, you still didn't know really quite what was going on. And you were supposed to believe that this all happened in one day. What, it was it one day? Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even remember <laughs> at this point. Uh, again, this was one so, period of time, you know, because it, you know, they never had any downtime, rest time. Okay, let's take a break and have lunch. No, n none of that. <laughs> again, so again, I, I'm, I have to, I, I, I don't know. I'm sort of on the fence on this one again. The, the last half hour was really well done. It was the, the action was directed and edited and everything very well. Uh, all the, it's all choreographed very well. Tied up all the loose ends. Well, I, again, I don't know about that. I'm just talking about the action itself. The oh, action itself true. was just really thrilling and exciting and so well done that again, I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing that. However, again, the rest of it, again, there were some nice little action things here and there, but that was, to, to, to that point, it was not worth the time. Uh, it was just, again, so sort of messed up and confusing. The, the dialogue was not very good. I mean, the, the, the jokes were not funny. And, the, again, people again, making sense as to what was really going on was just, it was just not there. Uh, so, I, again, I don't know. Again, I, you know, it's just to most people, it's probably not worth two and a half hours of your of your <laughs> life to see it. Uh, if you if it ever come, you know, if you ever see it on uh, on Netflix or DVD, fast forward to like the last half hour and see the last <laughs> half hour. But the rest of it, again, I think you can probably miss. But you'll give it one thumb. I'll give it one thumb. Yes. Okay. But you have to be prepared to uh, last through the film until the last half an hour when they when they do uh, save the world once again. Yes. Well, I, I should hope so. Yes. <laughs> After two and a half hours, they better save. Yes. The world. <laughs>